Hello friends and welcome back to Miss Ashley's Pre-K right here in Miss Ashley's living room. How are you feeling today? Can you give me a long sentence? I am feeling awesome. I hope you are having some good feelings today. If you're having some not great feelings, just remember you can count to 10, you can take a rainbow breath, or you can talk to a grown up. All right, we are going to continue to learn about plants. Yesterday, we learned that plants need special things to grow and stay healthy and strong. Like people, what do people need to grow and stay healthy and strong? We need food, we need water, we need exercise, and we need love. Very good. Miss Ashley's board gives us some reminders of what plants need to stay healthy and strong. So what is this one right here? The sun. Very good. Miss Ashley is going to label the sun. Labeling is when you put the word with the picture. Sun. S-U-N. Sun. Very good. What else does do plants need to grow? Very good, rain. We're going to label it as water because remember, if your plants don't get rain, we can show them love by spraying them with the hose. We can show them love by giving them water from a watering can, especially if it's inside. It can't rain inside our houses. So we are going to call it water. W A T E R. Water. And then last, what's down here? What's this brown stuff that we often see on the ground outside? Yes, it's dirt. And our special word for dirt is soil. Can you say soil? Soil. Soil. S-O-I-L. Soil. And this is where they get their nutrients from the water. Okay? Now, just like people, people use different parts of their bodies to stay healthy and strong, right? We use our whole body when we exercise. What do we use when we eat? We use our mouth, our teeth, our tongue, and our tummies. Very good. And that's how we get all of our nutrients, all of our vitamins, all of the good stuff to keep us healthy and strong. Hmm. Do plants have mouths? If you watched the Grover video, when Grover was trying to feed his plants different types of food, they can't eat it. They don't have a mouth. So let's look at the parts of a plant and see how they get all their nutrients. Let's start at the bottom. What are these finger-like things at the bottom inside the soil. Look, it's coming from the flower. It's coming from this plant. They're called roots. Can you make roots? Every time we talk about roots this week, I want you to do this. Roots. R-O-O-T-S. Roots. Roots are what hold the plant into the ground, like this, like fingers. If it is very windy or rainy or stormy, the roots hold the plant into the ground so it doesn't fall over. The roots also act like a straw. And when the water gets into the soil, the roots suck it up into the rest of the plant so that it could get lots and lots of water. Now, there's this one. Hmm, this long part also looks like a straw, also acts like a straw. What is it? It's called the stem. When we talk about stems this week, we're going to do this. Stem. Okay, so ready? Roots. Stem. Good job. So the stem. And holds the plant up, holds it up high. And it also acts like a straw, sucking up all the water to get to the different parts of the plant. Okay. 
Hmm, you know what these are. What are these? These are leaves. Very good. Let me get my green marker. Leaves. Ready? L, E, A, V, E, S. Leaves love the sun. Leaves are how the sun gives nutrients to the plant. So if the sun is this way, the leaves will lean this way. If the sun is that way, the leaves will lean that way. The sun soaks in all of the nutrients from the sun. Oh, I'm sorry, the leaves soak in all of the nutrients from the sun. So it soaks it in and then it changes it into food for the plant to grow healthy and strong. So ready? If you are doing leaves this week, we're gonna go like this. These are our leaves, like this. Ready? So let's review. Roots, they hold on and they suck up the water. Stems, they suck up the water. Leaves, they love the sun. So they lean to the sun and they change the sunlight into nutrients or yummy food for the plant to eat. And the last part at the very, very top in this plant is a flower. Very good, is a flower. So some plants are flowers, some plants are vegetables or trees or fruits or bushes. There are many different types of plants. Not all of them have flowers, but some of them do. So these are the different parts of a plant. As you can see, Miss Ashley made this plant with construction paper and crayons. You can make one too. You can cut out the petals. Miss Ashley used a cupcake liner for the middle and you can use crayons or markers. Just don't forget to label. Here's another one that Miss Ashley made. I used a paper plate, but instead I used sponge paint. You can use dot markers, you can color it in, you can use watercolors, and then I labeled it. Do you see? And then I labeled it. So friends, if you want to make parts of a plant as part of your share on Thursday, you may do so. Okay? Love you lots and miss you bunches. Mwah.